so we have already studied about the url redirection in the previous lectures so url redirection was the exploitation of the xss attack where user will think they are just visiting the genuine website but instead they will just redirect to another website that can be the malicious website of the hackers too and they will just harvest the credentials of the users so another is the phishing attack so first of all what is the phishing attack so phishing is a type of a social engineering attack that means it is the way to trick the people often it is used to steal users data including the login credentials and the credit card numbers it occurs when the attacker that is uh, using the trusted entity dupes a victim into opening an email instant messages or the text messages so that the user or a victim will think that it is a legit messages but instead it will be the message of the user which will just wrap the content of the malicious code and the recipient is then tricked into clicking a malicious link which can lead to the installation of a malware or freezing the system as a part of a ransomware attack or the revealing of the sensitive information which is the most of the case in the case of the xss attack so we can see that the xss attack can be very dangerous because its exploitation can be the phishing attack and we have already studied about the url redirection so in this lecture we'll see about the phishing attack so let's get into the action so we have opened the verb suit so if you just remember from the previous lectures we have made this pp which was vulnerable so when i just say hello here and if i just press go you could see it has been reflected right here that means this was the field that is vulnerable so we can just run the script here and give some of the messages like this and if i just run the script if i just press go so this responds to the browser and if i just paste in this go then you could see it has executed this payload that means it was successfully executing our payload which was in this case the simple script so we can see that the exploitation should begin with the checking the xss so this was vulnerable that means we can now inject some more payload in this pp parameter but if you just go in this p parameter only in the p parameter and say something like hello let's press go and if i just say yes e e yellow then you could see it has reflected right here that means this p also has the vulnerabilities or basically the way to tamper this parameter but now we'll only check for this pp parameter so let's do something else in this pp parameter so if i just remember the what we did in the previous lecture we just make this url redirection with this simple payload but now we can do the phishing attack with another payload so that payload is your iframe so if you have studied about the iframe it is used to give us some canvas or basically a frame where you can just make some url to load and the url should be inside the csrc attribute so i'll just pass something like http give double colon in the website name i'll just say bit for stack dot com and this is the link you can give height and width so height is one parameter over here and it should be in percentage so i'll just give 100 percentage another is width and width will be my 100 percentage as well so after you just put height and width you have to close this iframe so i'll just put closing the iframe so this is your way to just make the phishing attack so what we just did here was we just make a frame inside of this website and this new website will just be in the whole of the window so let's see how this works so we'll just go to the verb suit and instead of this simple payload i'll just paste it right here that is the iframe so what we are doing here is we are just injecting the iframe which will just make a field in this website and it will load this website instead of the genuine website so let me just press go now let it give a time so it is just taking some time let's see this response in the browser 
let's go over here and let's paste it go let's say okay but it is not doing anything it is not reflecting so there should be some problems so it must be problem with this link so I'll just say something like bing.com let's see if this work or not so I'll just copy this again go back here let's inject in here that is the iframe and let's now so I just need to press go again and if I just uh, show response to the browser let's paste and go and you could see now Bing will be injected inside this website so if you see here the website name is testphp.blnweb.com but we'll see the bing.com inside here which is due to this iframe so we just injected bing.com inside this iframe so you can just make use of something like twitter.com if you want to just inject your clone twitter it can be twitter clone or the website that you have cloned which will be hosted locally or globally if you want and if you just go to the burp suit again if i just replace everything from here that is the iframe to this new link if i just press go if i just see response to the browser so instead of this i'll just paste go again and show response in the browser let's see what happens here so you will see now the twitter will be loaded right here so it is not working because the twitter must be http yes maybe so let's see if this works let's copy this let's go back to the burp suit let's replace this real quick Control v let's paste it let's press go let's see response in the browser paste and go and again it is not working maybe due to something like https and let's see if it will take time it must work but it is not working maybe something is happening over here let's check for the hotmail so let's go directly to the burp suit and let's see for hotmail if i just replace this with https let's see again the response in the browser let's paste and go and it should now but it's not loading something is happening right here let's check again for the bing okay bing is working but some websites that has the HTTPS is not working so that means you have to work with the HTTP not the HTTPS in the case of iframe just remember that so we'll be working on some of these URL redirections host header injection and some of the advanced accesses post exploitation attacks in the upcoming lecture so see you in the next one